Intel and Red Hat have been working together for over 10 years to deliver reliable solutions to the industry. It started in collaboration on allowing customers to deploy reliable solutions on top of Linux, and then from there moved on to enhanced virtualization technology, and now we're bringing the power of OpenStack to allow customers to deploy cloud computing solutions. Red Hat, uh, together with Intel and our hardware partners, are looking to bring enterprise class solutions to our mutual customers. The heart of the Red Hat and Intel collaboration is all about technology. It's about thinking about what the customer needs and then delivering it through technology. So at the heart of this technology is a compatible x86 architecture that's not only RHEL, but is now the foundation for Rev, our enterprise virtualization solution, and RHEL OpenStack platform, which is an infrastructure solution for private and public clouds. And one of the things that we've been able to do with Red Hat is ensure compatibility across a broad product line. Recently, there's been a lot of focus on very lightweight types of applications. And what we wanted to do with Red Hat is provide the same consistent platform to address those new lightweight workloads. That's the reason that we developed the Atom C2000. And working with Red Hat, we can provide the same consistency of platform and address the full perspective and the full range of workloads, whether it's the lightest weight or the most demanding, you can get a consistent and reliable platform from the two of us. Just as we've learned together over 12 years, we are certifying the Intel architectures from the Atom C2000 and the system on a chip architectures all the way up to the most powerful Xeon E7 family of processors and ensuring that the Red Hat Enterprise Linux roadmap is prepared to support new architectures across this broad range of solutions from Intel. Customers demand the best total cost of ownership in a cloud computing solution. And the fact is, is that there's more diversity in their workloads than there ever has been before. And that's why it's so critical to have a cloud computing solution, such as what we're doing with Red Hat using OpenStack, to ensure that it's efficient, driving the most performance, but also very power efficient. If you now start looking at cloud computing and virtual data centers, we support customers on Intel architectures with RHEL version 5, RHEL version 6, and at the moment, we have RHEL version 7 in its beta test process. All these architectures uh, continue to track and support the Intel chip architectures and the OEM platforms on which they're built. Great example is the VT or virtualization technology in the chip is enabling virtualization and support in RHEL, in Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization, or REV, and now is the foundation of the RHEL OpenStack platform, which is the platform on which private and public clouds can be built. Customers expect their enterprise to scale, they expect it to be secure, they expect it to be reliable. A big portion of ensuring security in the cloud is data protection, and that means you want to encrypt as much data as you possibi can. Red Hat's use of AES and I, which accelerates the use of encryption, means that customers can more broadly deploy data protection technologies. So this broad range from the Atom architecture all the way up to Xeon E7 architectures has a couple of key things about it. The first is binary compatibility. This is the x86 architecture across the entire range of offerings. And so the investment in software designs and software solutions are compatible from the hyperscale and atom-based solutions all the way up to the largest performance solutions based on the Xeon and E7 family. Along with that is the process of certification. This means that together with our partners, we're certifying that the hardware, the operating system, and the entire stack is going to be compatible and fully deliver what's expected by enterprise solutions. We're going to continue to innovate. We're going to continue to make sure that the needs of the customer come first, that it's about enabling them to deliver differentiated services, allowing them to, to take their innovative ideas and bring them to market faster, allowing them to get done more with less. At the heart of that's always going to be efficient technology, and that means that Moore's Law and the continued march forward of more performance for lower cost is going to be the innovation engine that enables that to happen. Intel and Red Hat have truly been successful because we've really changed the landscape of IT computing during this period of time. As we think about the challenges and opportunities ahead in infrastructure computing, this deep engineering level partnership that we have between our companies is sure to help us serve our mutual customer needs as we think about the next 12 years together.